I'm Chris Folds, and I'm Professor of Sustainability and Society based at Anglia Ruskin University in Cambridge in the UK. And I'm one of the coordinators of the Shared Green Deal project. In this short video, we thought it could be a nice idea for me to return to some of the priorities of the Shared Green Deal project to give you a little bit of an insider perspective on some of our priorities and our hopes, and also to provide me with a chance to say a great big thank you to all of you for your really great work um, during the course of the experiment so far. So, Firstly, as I say, I thought it could be a nice idea to give a little bit of that insider perspective on our hopes from the proposal, because obviously at the training and at previous interactions, I'm not sure that we've, we've said too much on this. So with me quoting from the proposal, uh, the Shared Green Deal project aimed to stimulate shared actions on EU Green Deal initiatives across Europe. This would be based on shared understandings of stakeholder needs, which will hopefully achieve real behavioral and social change. And the priorities for us as coordinators and as a consortium were that in achieving this, we would really appreciate that the Green Deal would be implemented and experienced at a local and regional level. So we needed a local and regional focus. Also, with this in mind, we would really need to work with local NGOs and municipalities that have all of the local knowledge that understand their local context so much better than, than we do. We would need those sorts of local partners involved with anything that we're wanting to do in this space. And also that we wanted to cover all of the policy areas of the European Green Deal. So this has, of course, led to 24 social experiments in partnership with 24 local partners, such as yourselves, across six experiment streams. You may remember these. These are clean energy, efficient renovations, circular economy, sustainable food, preserving biodiversity and sustainable mobility. And we've been ever so grateful by the energy, enthusiasm and engagement by all of you so far. Thanks so much for everything you've been doing. We have really felt that this has been a partnership, 24 partnerships, because what we've been doing wouldn't have been possible without your, your input and, and local expertise and guidance really on how to mold our quite centralized plans to your particular case sites. So thanks for, for being open and having those, those conversations with us. So indeed, the expertise that you provided has, has been invaluable. We're also really delighted that the experiments that you've been doing have been mostly really embedded within your local priorities and programs of work. This was quite important for us so that it didn't feel that we were jumping in as a project for a year, 18 months, and then jumping back out again. We wanted to ensure that the work that we were doing with you as local partners were contributing to something that was locally important and that may continue in some way, even if indirectly post-experiment. So we found that really heartening and, and thanks for being open to those conversations too. And so finally, um, I, I just really wanted to, to say that we're really excited to be analysing these experiment results and experiences in the coming years. And we're really confident, as indeed the European Commission are from those that we've been speaking to, that this will provide a really nice foundation for the Shared Green Deal network that we'll be launching. You may remember that towards the end of our project, we'll be setting up and hosting a, a network that really focuses on driving local and regional people-focused changes in accordance with EU Green Deal priorities. And in the early phases of the network, which we're committing to run three years post-project, and so ultimately up until 2030, in the early phases, we think it's really important to lean on the experiences that, that you are now going through and to showcase the excellent work that you've done. So we really hope that we can maintain our contact with you moving forward uh, to ensure that this network activity provides mutual benefits for all involved. So big thanks again. I hope the study tour has been going well and 
if there's anything that you feel that Rosie or myself can do uh, in our coordinator capacity, always feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help. Thanks very much. Thank you.